Guys, you're looking at the live White House YouTube channel, and there's a video that's going to be coming up soon. It's going to be a live statement by the president, Donald Trump. He's going to give a statement on Jerusalem. This could be very key. There's planned massive Arab protest in the Middle East because of this. Let's look at what they're talking about. Now, what many are expecting in this announcement coming out today is that President Trump will um, recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and announce plans to relocate to the city, the U.S. Embassy, currently based in Tel Aviv. The move long sought by Israel breaks with decades of U.S. policy as well as the international consensus. World leaders have urged Trump to reconsider, warning it could derail peace efforts and stir unrest in the region and beyond. Now, the status of Jerusalem it's the home to sites holy to the Jews, Christians, and Muslims is one of the core issues in the perennial Israeli-Palestinian conflict. If you remember in the 1967 war, Israel annexed the territory and proclaimed it as its eternal undivided capital. The Palestinians, however, see East Jerusalem as the capital of their future state. Now, they're saying some of the reasons that he's moving the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem is uh, that it recognizes the holy city as Israel's capital. Was a, and Trump promised this during the election campaign last year. Today's announcement will, three, uh, will thrill key financial donors like Las Vegas casino magnate Sheldon Adelson, who reportedly gave $25 million to groups backing Trump ahead of the 2016 election. In April, Political News website reported that Sheldon had expressed anger at Trump over his failure to fulfill the Jerusalem Pledge. Guys, these people, these big money people like this, they really don't want peace. They don't profit from pre peace. The shift is likely to boost Trump's popularity with his core right-wing evangelical base. I guess maybe... I really don't see the importance of the entire deal. It sounds like something else to just stir up some um, problems with. I think, this is just me now, that it's part of timing of the great plan that Trump has set forth. And we're talking about everything from the changing of the guard, the taking out of the CIA, possibly a new intelligence agency coming about of overthrowing the deep state, taking the CIA out of North Korea. And this could be a diversionary tactic. He's very good at that. When he's getting things done here, he can give the press, he'll give a lot of people something else to look at. We're going to have to pay a little closer to the, uh, attention to this. Now, I'm going to end the video here because it's about time for the video to start. It will be, again, on the White House YouTube channel. Type it in, and I will link it below. Guys, this is a heads up. Be safe.